In the late 60s and early 70s, a new group of filmmakers rose to great prominence. Francis Ford Coppola was one of those, making such classics early in his career, including one of the best movies of all time. While I personally think his worst mistakes were in the middle of his career, one cannot deny that Coppola continues to astonish us with his choices. Such is the case of Tetro. This is Francis Ford Coppola's most recent film, and without a doubt, one of his more artistic ones. This film was never really widespread at all in its release, and I consider myself lucky to have been able to watch it in the cinema. Regardless of my feelings towards the film, I'm just glad I got to see it at all. But how did I feel about the movie? Well, I feel about the movie about the same way I feel about Bad Lieutenant Port of Call New Orleans. It takes a storyline that seems very cliché at first, but then adds a whole unique twist to it. So the film opens up with Benny. He's a young American boy working on a cruise ship that's recently docked in Argentina. But this is in accordance with Benny's plans, because he's trying to make a surprise visit to his long-lost brother, Angelo, who has become a notorious recluse living under the assumed name Tetro. Tetro has been keeping his real identity secret from everybody he knows in Argentina, even the girl he's living with in Argentina is kept in the dark about his real identity and his past. We find out about Tetro's initial dreams to be a playwright and a poet, but we find out later he keeps all his writings to himself. We find out that there are deep motivations for Tetro's self-exile. We find out that there's a deep family secret that involves their conductor father, played by Klaus Maria Brandauer, in a truly wonderful supporting role. But by far the best performance in the movie is by Vincent Gallo as Tetro. The way he just sits there staring deep into a light bulb, and also how he can just snarl and snap at people around him, it just reminds you of Sean Penn at times. And while I've tragically forgotten the name of the young actor who plays Benny, I must say, he really deserves a long, prosperous career in Hollywood. Judging this film on its artistry, it's a masterpiece. Francis Ford Coppola should be very proud of himself for making this movie. It's a reminder to us that this is the same man with the guts to make Godfather. While the films share some artistic themes, there really is no way to compare the two of them together. What's most interesting about this film is the parallels to Coppola's own life. The way he's been brought up in an artistic family, how his father was also a musical composer. The film's biggest flaw, in my opinion, is its conclusion. I'm not going to go into how or why or what. All I'm going to say is I'm still rather confused over what happened and what we're supposed to think is going to happen after the movie is over. But aside from that, everything in the movie was pretty good, and the artistry itself made it very unique and very interesting to watch. So I hope I've sparked some interest in the film, hopefully you get the chance to see it, and hopefully it's a positive experience that you get to remember in years to come.